What's up guys? We are out here, Glamis, California. I got world champion drifter Chris Forsberg here with us. We've got the Turbo S four seater behind us. We've been out here jamming this thing around all day. It is hot out here. Yeah, he brought right? a nice shade for us. You know, for this, what, so what, this is great. What did Jordan say earlier? <laughs> Go to Glamis in September, they said. Yeah. It'll be fun, right? Why not? So got here crack of dawn, um, unloaded the cars, took them for a spin. Mm -hmm. We also brought Chris's uh, 2018 Dynamics 4 yep. as a kind of a good comparison between the Turbo S four and the and the dynamics four from last year yeah what uh what stands out to you as the biggest difference well the first thing the just visually you can tell that it's right. a lot wider so you yeah, got that wider stance and um i felt that that would play a real good part um right. you know good advantage out here especially in the sand you know real loose right. um getting those things up on the berm it's actually right. my first time right. running around the right. sand yeah i was yeah we we're gonna this leave guy's that lead. out that he's a total rookie out here in the sand but <laughs> Since he brought it up, first time in yeah. the sand, right? Uh, for a rookie, you did yeah. pretty darn no, good. I mean, right? you, you were leading the way. I was so, just keeping up. So, you know, just doing but my he's best. used to being you're used to being sideways. So being yeah. out in the sand is not. But this you know. way, not this way. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, new to me, you know, like seeing everything right. at a slant. But um, yeah, it was really fun. Definitely noticed um, jumping back and forth between the two. Right. That the new Turbo S has that wider stand, so it felt a little more stable, especially sure. the slower speeds. It didn't really want to lean. It just kind of would right. slide which was right. nice. Um, otherwise, you know, just some nice uh, upgrades to the instrumentation. Right. Um, still to has me, the adjustable suspension. To me, it feels almost like the Turbo S has more power, right? It does. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think it actually does, mm -hmm. but it feels like it has more power. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that is just because it's a little bit wider, a little more confidence inspiring. Yeah. Right now, we know from the tech from Polaris that, you know, it's, there's a lot of stuff that's changed on the car. It's not just wider, but when you drive the car right the dynamic suspension i think really comes in comes into its own with that wider suspension Absolutely. it just allows it to articulate more move more mm -hmm. it allows that active valving to just really really take charge so i mean we ran it through some good drop-offs good transitions mm -hmm. uh jordan jumped in it and just sailed it right you know actually <laughs> you didn't do too bad yourself on, the, bad. on the jumping yeah, part, right? Yeah, if we had a little so, more time, we might have been, uh, right. you know, catching up to Jordan, right. but doubtful. It's like <laughs> he was a, really getting it down the backside <laughs> of the hill. It was like nice. A, like a good prep course for Camp Razor, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we took him on, we took him on, what is it, the, the green circle? The green yeah, circle. we're going green circle green today. Circle we're trail saving today. the black diamonds for Camp Razor. Black diamonds for Camp Razor, right, <laughs> yeah. when we can get out in the big dunes. So, but um, check out the Turbo S. It is an amazing car handles insane out here in the dunes we threw some paddles on it um definitely does a lot better with the paddles than the stock tires mm -hmm. uh, those coyote tires from uh, from itp are great for the dirt uh not so great for the sand we even aired them down and just not a good sand tire but throw the paddles on it really woke the car up mm -hmm. things amazing out here yeah, so. just really glide right on top of the sand just a real yeah. incredible feeling like yep. like i was saying haven't really had that experience before so just like Cutting through the sand, incredibly smooth, and right. of course, you know, with the um, active suspension, just that thing is just mm -hmm. dialed. You know, when you get those uh, that yeah. fresh, smooth sand, especially for a stock car. I mean, w yeah. you know, other than sand tires and wheels, we didn't do anything to it, right? Yeah. Except so, put it about six feet in the air. At least, right? <laughs> so, um, I think that this thing's definitely going to be a really good competitor to the X3, right? The X3 kind of came in and took over. Everybody's super hyped on the X3. Mm -hmm. I've had one, great car. Um, I think if you compare the X3 XRS to the Turbo S in a two-seater and a four-seater, I think the Razor Turbo four-seater S model again mm -hmm. really is a better car than the Max uh, X3. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit shorter, right? Um, so it doesn't it doesn't hang up on stuff as much. Um, doesn't feel as uh, as long and as big of a car. Yeah. Right? A little more nimble, especially in the corner. So I think it in is that, that perfect category, balance. Uh, in that category, I think the Turbo S beats the x3 max hands down so um so if you get a chance to check one out check it out uh the good news is is that they're both so good right that as enthusiasts mm -hmm. you know to have such good offerings from both manufacturers and to have them be so competitive i mean x3 comes out it's awesome polaris steps up to the plate comes mm -hmm. out with this thing this thing i think is the king of the sand dune for now um, I can't wait till next year to see what everybody comes out with. Yeah. See, I thought you were going to say the good news is that you guys have one now. Right. So here come the parts. Well, that is a really <laughs> good thing. So we're going to take this thing back to the shop from here. Um, we wanted to get like a good baseline for it. Uh, take it back to the shop. We're going to get it all torn apart. 
We got boondocker turbo system going on it. We've got seats, cage, all the good stuff. Uh, this car, we're gonna do a little bit more functional, right? We want it to really, you know, we, we, we want it to haul butt. Mm -hmm. uh, we want it to handle really good through the dunes and we want it to look stellar as well. So um, we'll- I'm uh, sure you guys are gonna nail it. We'll have to give you a ride yeah. in Camp Razor, right? I'll be back. So not <laughs> to mention, I think your car's getting a little bit of a makeover for Camp Razor too, right? It sure is, yeah. You gotta um, kind of try right. and get mine to keep up with this new Turbo S, so yeah. <laughs> right. um, you guys are taking mine back with you, which is awesome. And right. gonna be getting the uh, SDR cage doors, we're gonna be doing a couple other upgrades, like getting some proper safety gear into it. Sure. And um, Dial sure that we're gonna um, yeah, change the color package up a little bit. And, and then so. we're gonna bring you out here for Camp Razor and scare the hell out of you. That's it. Right. <laughs> so come on out, Camp Razor. Look for our Turbo S, Chris's Dynamics. Mm -hmm. And also we're gonna bring out Alvira from the Sand Sports Show. Drive that thing around. You guys can check it out. And uh, we'll see you there, Camp Razor.